for the postman, Professor Billy Mayo. This is not a glorification or a glamorization. This is an education. You can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and fifteenth. Lock the door. Slick. In regards to American Cholo, right? We got we got video showing that Wack One Hundred showed up at his front doorstep. Yeah. Was that a real or was that scripted? That was real, because you know. I believe it's a real because I talked to Wack, and, it, and, and Wack is that type of character. I talked to him on occasions, you know. I got you know some homeboys of mine don't like like Wack for personal reasons, but okay, I'm grown. I'll be 46 this year. I'm grown. I'm grown enough that I can hang with what whoever I want to hang with. I hang with Crips. I hang with Mexicans. I hang with my own, I hang by myself. That's the best way to hang by yourself. But I think it was real because you know, Gil was putting so much hot tapatio on it, thought he was one of them. So who, those who don't know what tapatio is, tell them. It's, it's hot, it's a Mexican hot sauce. There you know we go, saying? there you go. He was, you know what I'm saying? And Wack put on the red rooster. The you red rooster. Saying? He put on the red rooster and said, okay. It's interesting that you know both. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He put the red rooster on and said, okay, I'm going to pull this, uh, see how gangster this fool is. I'm going to go to his house. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Anybody come to my house and I got cameras, nigga, I'm coming hit you with the dust pad. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit you with the dust pad and everything. It's on and popping. It's all 100% for me to do anything I want to do to you. you. You came to my house. You violated my space. But I guess people say he was at work. People say he was at home. All his cars was there. I don't Are know those he, excuses? I, I don't know if he was scared or not because he wasn't expecting um, old boy to come to that house and ring that doorbell. You know what I'm saying? Like he like he, like he did. You know what I'm saying? But a few of the came, say me and somebody else get into it. Say me and you get into it. You're like, Slick, I know I'm going to come to your house. And I open the door. It ain't gonna be aggression right there. I ain't gonna come to like motherfucker. What you gonna do that my motherfucker doing his own? Then you you get riled up and he Wack probably went over there and said, "Let's talk about. It. Let's go to the backyard and have a a, a medillo or something or some carne asada or some neck bones or something. Let's talk about it. Let's straighten this shit out." Cause so is you that your food of choice? Neck bones. I just had some uh, oxtails yesterday. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Some good oxtails. You know what I'm saying? So, but. Going to the backyard and talking yeah, but, about it. But I think Wack went over there as a man. He didn't go on no gang banging shit. He didn't take 40, 50 people. Yeah, because he was by himself. He was by himself. That's what you're supposed to do. By yourself. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happens. If you if I go say, nigga, we, we catch this fade, I'm coming by myself. I ain't coming with the homies because if I come with the homies and you come with your homie, it's going to be a royal rumble. It's going to get out of hand. It's going to get out of hand and guns is going to come out. Somebody's going to get killed. So best thing, so if I go by myself, you got your homeboys, that's just letting me know how you stand. You're scared. You know what I'm saying? We're going to meet up. Let's meet up together. We can either talk it out. We can take a friendly phrase, shake hands after that. We can record it if you want to. You know what I'm saying? We dissed it out. But I think he did it. He went over there and did it because he was putting that racial stuff on there. It's a very, that, racial stuff, that racial stuff is a sensitive topic for somebody to do that, and he pushed that out there, oh, this and that. He did that shit with Tiger. Tiger is an entertainer, man. I would, If I was Tiger, I would have never took that video down. I'm an entertainer. You know what I'm saying? They pick and choose who they could pump. Yeah, it, it, like was, Gil, it, was, it was vulnerabilities yeah, there. Yeah, like, like Gil, he know who to pump, but he couldn't pump. Whack. He couldn't punk him. He Wack, him Wack actually reversed it on him and showed him his vulnerabilities see, by showing up now, at his doorstep. Now, I don't know if Gil was at the house or not. He was on. The, he could have talked to him through that ring. That ring could talk. That yes. ring doorbell. I got one. That ring doorbell can talk. You can talk like, what's up? What do you want? He could have been, could have been a conversation. With, Let's talk. Let's talk this out, man. Are we going to do this for views or are we going to do this for serious? You know what I'm saying? We could go in the backyard and we go from there. I'm in your house now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in your domain. He came in your domain. Why? Does what does does um King Baba Louie uh perspective apply at that point? Twenty five percent of serious MFers and seventy five percent of cheerleaders. Does that apply with 
them because he didn't, you know. Uh, I'm going I'm to tell you what my big homie told me. Okay, go. Ronald Baker, the big homie from the hood. He said, you got doers and you got reporters. You see what I'm saying? The doers are going to fight. The reporters are going to stand there and run to the hood and say, oh, yeah, we got into it with such and such. They were squabbing like that. that, that that's, what, that's what the big homie explained to me. We got doors and that, we got that, reporters. That's a good assessment. You know what I'm saying? Because the reporter's going to go report back to the hood. Right. And put extras on it. You see what I'm saying? Right. But you could gang bang and act hard because you got a following. And I think that's what Gil got. He got a following because he played that racial card. I'm Rasa, this and that. But... I'm not going to get into that, you know what I'm saying? They say he undoors. In all actuality, back there on that side, Honduras, El Salvador is, they don't like Nicaragua, Mexicans. Nicaragua, yeah. They don't uh, like yeah, Mexicans, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But we ain't going to get into that. We ain't going to get into that. You know yeah, that's saying? a whole nother, that's, that's another, a whole another session. Well, culture yeah, class once that's again. That's a whole torture class because, you know, all my, my parents is like Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? And all that, and I learned that from there. Why you drop your octave down low when you said that? What? You said, "Oh, my parents." I ain't oh, dropped nothing there. They they all motherfucking <laughs> Southsiders, shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's here nor there. You know what I'm saying? I know my people's look at me a different way because I'm from a black gang. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't by choice. You know what I'm saying? Just like back in the days, far as I can remember, I had an uncle from City Terrace. And I had an uncle from Garrity. They didn't get along. Every time I looked up, my uncle on my mom's side squabbing with 10, 15 Garrity's. You know what I'm saying? He coming, my mom, dad, they coming back from the hospital looking like mummies. Because they hitting them with bumper jacks and all that. And then when my uncle, when my uncle David got killed on Eastern at the, at the Burger King right there, I remember to this day, we was driving as little kids. And my mom felt it. And they crept up on my uncle and shot him in the back of the head. You know what I'm saying? That's when my mom picked us up from City Terrace and moved us to Compton. You know, and that's what I think. She wouldn't let us go over there, interact with my dad family and my cousins and my other relatives over there. So basically, I was stationed in Compton with my brothers and sisters. They never taught us Spanish in the household, but they spoke it fluently. I grew up with blacks. I played sports. I'm hanging around them. That's who I adapted to. That's who adapted to me. So it wasn't by choice. You know what I'm saying? If I was still in East LA, I'd have been a South Side. No how, doubt about it. How long you and Taboo been together? Oh, I'm, I was with Taboo. Taboo when he was, he was eating Happy Meals every day. I've been with Taboo. We've been. I was like, but see, Taboo was always in penitentiary camp. Why? penitentiary, you know, this is the longest he ever been out, and you know, we thick as thieves, you know what I'm saying? We <laughs> One thing I can say but, though, about the Pyrus, there was a time when you guys were united on all fronts, and nothing divided you for no reason. Now, if we come back to that, or we come back to that, we'll be a force to be reckoned with, you know? We can't be stopped, but it's a lot of egos on both sides, the southern side, and the, and, the, and the black side, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of egos. We got a lot of pe people with their chest out like they can't get it popped. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't bring back down to earth because they went to the penitentiary. They walked the yards. There's a lot of big homies that walk the yards. It's a lot of youngsters that walk the yard. I, I see the difference between my little homies going to the pen doing five or six years. Some of them come with their chest poked out. Some of them come up hum humble. You know what I'm saying? Because they did that time. I got homeboys that's in there right now ready to come on. That's dead. That's over 10 years, 15 years. The youngsters that I saw grow up. And they right. made the wrong choices. Right. But that racial stuff, Melly, that racial stuff got to get out the door, man. Because you know what I'm saying? If we're not going to survive, uh, we keep putting racial stuff in the mix. Just leave it alone. Stop the YouTube wars. Lock the door. Proof of grind all the time, baby. Yeah. yeah. Cali Miners, baby. <laughs> Proof of grind all the time. Music money. Got a dollar sign. Hub City. I'm
a street nigga, streets fuck with me I'ma keep pushing products till the fans get me It's Guap 